Now, what I want to talk about, I noticed that the Ride Your Beat video I just put up got a lot of views really quick. So I figured I'm going to put one more up. I'll probably use some kind of a cartoon character of some sort. But a lot of people, hey, first off, there's a lot of us that are never going to get along. We're never going to be on the same frequency or... I use Ohm's law, others don't, we're not going to get along. But we need to stand for one thing. Everybody wants everybody to be on the radio and they want to see the CB radio community come back again. I've been around the CB radio stuff quite a long time. There's others been around longer. And I'll be around like that then, you know, years to come. But I want to try to help and contribute a little bit more. And it's about profanity. I am guilty. Yes, I am so guilty. I come from the 60s and the 70s, from Cleveland, Ohio. My accent might sound different now. I've been gone a very long time. But it was just one of those things, you know, as kids. We didn't do it around adults, women. You know, but we cussed. That was just our, our we, we'd sing, you know, these bad words, but they weren't bad words to us. And anybody that knows me now knows I'm still the same way, but not in a YouTube video and never on the radio. I was guilty. I was. I cussed like a truck driver. <laughs> Majorly. Probably up until like 95, when this similar conversation was brought up to me. And it's kind of like this. It was a long time ago. If you want more people on the radio, especially for in the future, then we don't need to cuss on the radio. You can't tell or demand anybody to do anything. You can lead by example, which I have found to be one of the best ways of doing anything. They either grab on or they don't. And I found that people do grab on when you do that. You can't beat nothing down no one's throat. You just can't do it. But if we want kids and other women on the radio, looks like Sesame Street's gonna be the busy one again. Even though it was only a trucker channel years ago, truckers only, we're not gonna change that. That's not gonna happen. Everybody wants to be on Sesame Street. So there has to be some ethics. And those of us that do have decent radios, we're gonna be able to talk. It's just no hocus pocus. It's just old school or physics, electronics. <laughs> We're gonna talk, that's all there is to it. And some of us have just been around and we like the radio. I have my reasons why I really respect the radio. One of them is, number one, is because I'm alive because of the CB radio. So all I can say, I, I'm just another, just another person, just like anybody else on the radio. But I do make my living off of doing what I do for one specific reason. Even though people will use my radios for base stations or in a car, they're built specifically for a truck to get out, slice and dice, and be heard at the maximum range and be able to be heard with less amount of noise. I talk about this all the time. It just so happens it's going to work in the real world or up a base station or however you use it. But my whole goal is a truck and it lasts, etc. So, truck drivers, you got kids, you got wives, nieces, sons, daughters, they might be on the radio. I know a lot of guys get out on the road, they leave their home behind and crap on the rest of the world is what it seems like they do. Let's try to stop doing that. Let's try to just be nice. I don't mean flowers and stuff, you know, no, 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 no. Yeah, I find it more interesting to insult people 
nicely, if you know what I mean. <laughs> you don't have to cuss at them. It's depressing to hear that stuff all day long. But getting back to, you want people to get back into the radio, you know, the cussing stuff. It, it doesn't need to be by the time a kid is 12, 13, 15 years old, he hears just a bunch of trashy language and topics. And you know what I'm talking about, only on the CB. They have to go to the CB to get that stuff. It shouldn't be that way. That's my opinion anyways. Let's try to clean it up a little bit. Just one at a time. Yeah, I know, it's, it's not easy to reframe from cussing sometimes when you got some idiot locking up their brakes in front of you. But maybe you gotta think about why they did it and then constantly calling them names on the CB. Anyways, I'm bad boy too much right now. Let's watch our language. If you're gonna sit there and drink and get on the radio, that's what you're gonna do. There ain't no stopping it. But don't cuss. Try not to cuss. I know they're only words, but it makes certain people cringe, and they don't want their kids to hear that. Think about it. Your hobby is to talk on the radio, but you don't want your kids near it. It's not a hobby to me. Maybe when I was very young, what got me started into radios, it's like 1967. There's two walkie-talkies, two antennas. As I got older, things changed. I had to go to school to learn more about it. And then school didn't teach me everything I wanted to know. I had to learn a lot more. But it all fell down to the two antennas. How did the signal get from this one to that one? And it gets very complicated <laughs> and interesting understanding that, getting away from that. But I started as a kid. Yep, just a little kid, 67. I was just a little kid. Little walkie-talkies. And it progressed from there. A lot more. You shouldn't have to go out and get a ham ticket. I mean, I'm not telling anybody not to. That's a great thing. I don't because I don't want Uncle Charlie knowing what I do. Exactly what I do. I show everything, pretty much. But yeah, I could have a decent ticket. Trust me. I've been tested. Kids should be allowed to be near the radio. And no, it's not going to happen overnight. Nope. And I know a lot of you guys, I know a lot of you guys on the radio. Some of us, we hate each other. But we don't talk to each other. Maybe that's one way the profanity doesn't happen. Or all the little digs, this and that. Then there's going to be all the politics and all these other crazy little things that go on. But we don't need the profanity. Think about it. We really don't. We're supposed to be setting an example. I'll do my best. Take care. Thanks for watching and listening. 163. Clear and gone.